four. Hey everybody, it's me Kayvon, and I am proud to announce I'm back on the treadmill. That's right, this double chin was coming in and it wasn't my fault. And uh, I'm on a really weak live feed, so if the signal gets blurry, it's not my fault. Internet Wi-Fi. But anyways, yeah, on the treadmill, as you can see, I want to give you a live update from the gym. What's going on with the treadmill here? Obviously, you can't use that one. You can use this one. You can't use that one. We are social distancing at the gym. Luckily, I'm the only one in here, so I thought I would tell you. Back on tour, Sacramento, 7, 1 through 2. Reno, 714 through 19. And let me tell you something. If you're scared to come out, don't worry about it. We are doing social distancing comedy. I call it physical distancing because we're going to be very social but physically distant. And we're going to keep the chairs six feet apart. The clubs each hold 200 people. We're only allowing 50. That's 25% occupancy. Normally a comedian comes, there's only 50 people in the room. You go, man. This was not a good town to visit. This is horrible. But in this case, 50 people, you're like, damn, this dude sold out. This dude sold out. And that's what we're looking to do. So I hope you come check it out in Sacramento or Reno. Those are the only two. Once those go well, other clubs will get the word, oh, they sold out. And we'll start adding. All right. And with that said, those tour dates will be on kvon.tv. That's my website, www dot kvon dot tv and the reason i'm on the treadmill is because let me tell you this last three months has been tough four months no gyms i couldn't do squats i couldn't do lunges we flattened the wrong curve do you know what i'm saying look how flat that curve is that was not the goal fauci flatten my beautiful curve so i'm gonna be here doing stairmaster because i'll tell you the upper body's okay like it's still okay because i've been doing push-ups but the legs you just can't fake it you can't fake the legs. I, uh, you can do hikes and stuff, but it's not gonna make those muscles come out. You're gonna look, I'm gonna fit in my skinny jeans. They're gonna fall right off my hips. So I'm trying to thicken up a little bit and get ready to come see everybody on tour. Everybody in the club getting tipsy. All right, with that said, I'm saying hi to everybody. I'm seeing people say they're here. Shout out to Amir, shout out to Anita, and so forth. We got a bunch of more that have popped on. Um, with that said, one of the other issues, I am so impressed with Facebook, which has been blowing up. They shadow banned me about five years ago because uh, every, every three to six months, something topical will come up and I hit it hard, pow. And a lot of people, uh, they, they'll tell on me, oh, Facebook, shut them down. So they, they shut me down, uh, but then they pop me back up. Look at the hair. People want to see the hair. So uh, there's a lot of hair under there. <laughs> that was a request, by the way. I didn't just do that for fun. That came to us from Sherry Ranks. Now I look like Justin Bieber. Look at that. Baby, baby, baby. All right. So with that said, every three to six months, I will tackle one of the topical issues, whether it's, you know, something going on in the news, something, some hashtag. And of course, this one has been cancel culture. I have been mocking cancel culture, and we've seen a divide in the fan base. Half of them are laughing their ass off, the other are pouting. And it's really become a religion. If you don't agree with tearing Uncle Ben off of the rice box, because that's racist, if you don't agree with Aunt Jemima being a slave, okay, I've been eating pancakes three and a half decades. I never even thought of Aunt Jemima as a slave. I thought of her as a beautiful black lady who wanted me to enjoy delicious sweet pancakes with my family. And I think those people that agree with that message are loving my jokes. And those who are like, no, no, it's racist, she's a slave. Maybe that's a personal problem if that's what you see every time you're pouring syrup on your pancakes. I never once saw a slave. When I ate the uh, Fruit Loops, I never saw a gay parrot. When I had Lucky Charms, I never saw a short little Irishman. Uh, when I, when I saw cookie crisp. I never wondered the ethnicity of those two guys the police were trying to arrest. Remember cookie crisp and the little dog? When I watched Paw Patrol, I never thought of that little dog Chase. I think that's his name, Chase. Cute little, I don't watch cartoons, but some of my, I teach swim lessons and the kids do. They got rid of the German Shepherd because he's a police officer dog. I thought that was a cute little dog. So apparently either my brain is wrong or we're going to have to make a little throwdown. If you think like me, you're going to enjoy my comedy. 
And if you think the world is a tragedy and we got to tear everything down, from Aunt Jemima to Uncle Ben to the sun-made girl with the raisins to Cholula, Tapatio got to go. If you think that Tony the Tiger is really a secret message for some underlying white supremacy group, then we probably won't get along. So I'm hoping we can have this conversation. You will come, support me, laugh, and see it from my point of view. And if not, you could go. You could go, because I'm not here to totally change your mind. I'm just trying to meet you halfway. Uh, with that said, racism, you're not born with it. It is taught. So if you teach kids that Aunt Jemima is a slave, then you put it in their brain. If you teach them Aunt Jemima is a loving aunt that wants you to have delicious pancakes, maybe kids all around the world for the next 50, 100 years would have seen a black woman in their own living room that otherwise would not have had one there. And that might have been a better message. That's where I stand on it. And if you don't agree, do not put on my wall you're leaving. This is not an airport. You don't have to announce your departure. You could just go. And if you like to laugh or maybe you don't agree with that, don't worry. Next week, there's going to be something else to joke about. And I'll post a different joke. So you might have to weather a little, a little hurricane, a little social justice hurricane. Woo! And then we're going to talk about something else. And you might find next week we actually agree on whatever topic you don't agree with me this week. It's all about being rational, being open-minded to both sides of the debate. And if you think, oh, well, you don't get it, Kayvon, because uh, you're Persian and your dad's a Muslim immigrant, but that's not black enough. You, only blacks get it. I share the same opinions with the black thought leaders, Dr. Thomas Sowell. I highly recommend you look him up, S-O-W-E-L-L. -L. Reverend Jesse Lee Peterson. See, y'all all know, know Reverend, Reverend Jesse Jackson, but do you know Reverend Jesse Lee Peterson? Have you heard the words from Herschel Walker, one of our Olympians and NFL players? Do you know Officer Brandon Tatum, who is a black police officer who has retired recently to be a thought leader and share his views? He gets, I think, 10 million views per video he does. Do you know or are you aware of uh, some of these people? Because if you're not, then you think, oh, the uh, half Persian kid, it, uh, he doesn't, he's all alone on this little island but I can name hundreds of people and you can find them and you can watch their videos and you see their point of view and I share their opinion. So I do not stand alone. I am one of thousands and there's a lot of silent people on here who agree. And if you are brave and you agree with me on social media, I thank you. The far left is very radical and they want to make an example out of me, hurt me, shame me, call me names, crucify me so that you get the message. It's not about me. They know I'm not gonna change my mind. They want to show how uncomfortable it'll make you to like one of my videos or to repost your thoughts that share, you know, similar as mine. So that's what they're doing. This is to make an example. And I'm glad those of you who stuck with me, you're a little braver than most. They have made fake accounts and tried to email the comedy club saying, fire Kayvon. Oh, he, you know, he's a, I call it a bixer. He's a bigot, Islamophobic, sexist, xenophobic, racist. He's a bixer. It's not happening. So. I want to give a shout out to everybody who has pushed the video, posted something funny. I ask people to send me a satirical product and why they're offended. I have 350 submissions right now. I can't post them all because every time I post, I gain one fan and I lose two. <laughs> but let me tell you something. I posted one about the Persian cucumbers. That's offensive because the American cucumber is much bigger and the Persian is smaller. You know. Oh, they should not call it. They should remove that, right? They should just, you know, let me tell you something. I wish my face was on the cover of every one of those cucumbers. Could you imagine? The cave on cucumber. And it's just me going like this. And then a hundred years from now, people will say, that was racist. You know, he, he never wanted his name associated with those tiny cucumbers. Did you ever think to ask me? I want my name on every cucumber in America. Every time a girl takes a bite, she's thinking of me, looking at my picture going, meh. Maybe he's rich. You know, that would be a positive. Did we ask Mrs. Buttersworth? Did we ask Betty Crocker? Did we ask Aunt Jemima what she thinks about the syrup? Maybe she liked it too. All right, folks, that's all I have to say. Hopefully, uh, I'm reaching some great people out there. And uh, obviously, we'll need your backup because the haters are coming on strong. And we're just going to weather this one like we did every four months for the last 10 years. It's nothing new, but they think, oh, they got me. They're going to say, racist, and run away. All right, folks, thank you for watching. Remember, Sacramento, 7, 1, and 2. Let's sell 50 tickets, sell it out, and get the name out there. 
people will be like, wow, he's back. Reno, 714 to 19. And uh, this hair, this is how you know, by the end of my tour, right here. It's gonna be right here, and I'm gonna become an emo singer.